One of the reasons that we used voice as a biometric input is because we're experts at voice analysis. We have a product called Evox, and we've had that in the market for, gosh, 12, 13 years probably. Over that period of time, we've got a lot of experience in voice analysis and the energy and the information that's carried in voice. So it was a natural for us to pick voice and use it with the Spark. In order for the Spark scan to work, we have to have real-time biometric input. And we use voice as the first biometric input. And then we use a tactile response. And so we take the voice and we, we don't record the words. We don't save that. What we're interested in is the energy that comes out of the voice. And so the computer will do an analysis of the energy, create what's called a voice map or a vocal map. And that vocal map then becomes a target. And that target will appear on your screen five times in different locations. And you either touch or you click on that target every time it appears. This is a, a form of evoked potential. We call it a tactile response. And what we're looking for is the time between when the target appears and when you touch it. That is biometric input that, that actually is unique as well. So we then combine the, the vocal input and we combine that with the tactile input and we bundle it all together and create what we call the spark. The spark is then the unique catalyst that ignites the algorithm. And once the algorithm is ignited, it processes the, processes the data at computer speed. So the, so the Spark scan happens a lot faster than any other scan we've ever done here at Zyto. The score comes out as a percentage, and we call that an outcome ratio. So the outcome ratio is an indication of which item is most appropriate. It goes from 0% to 100%. 100% obviously is more appropriate than 0%.